What's up guys, Sam back again. Today I'm doing a review with my mate James. And right there. And the first video you saw was the bait session. Here he is. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Cuboid 150 watt bus with an updated software. 200 watt. But I'm running just the North, North 2 Plato coil. I'm going to have a whack. And James is going to have a whack. We're going to go straight from the bottom, 55 watt. It's as simple as that, really. Well, then you start at 50 watt. 55. I'm running two Sony 18650s in it. So, let's have a go. As it fucking covers through the camera. I'm using my man from One Hit Wonder. Shout out to them, link will be in the description. And oh, no, take, take it away. In my eye, personally, they pocket juice. What do you think it is? Juice? Well, it's what my favourite ice cream in Neapolitan, so you know. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, then. instead of doing 55 to 60, we'll go 65 straight out of the bag. You just go straight and just turn it. Just turn up, we'll go 65. Why not turn it, man? Do you want to be full 80? Yeah, screw it all the way around. Fuck it all the way. The coil won't run any higher. Exactly. I ain't fucking having a burning pit in the mouth. I'm mad. Right, full 80. As you see, it's running at 0.22. I'd say 0.2, basically. So, let's go. Take it away, James. In my eyes, the Cuboid 150 slash 200 watt is decent. And like I said, I'm running two Sony 18650s, and in my eyes, it's a brilliant model of music could have used. Uh, bearing in mind, it's cost about uh, 100 quid overall as a complete setup. It's decent for a start up. Yeah, as you saw in a couple of my last videos, I was using the Smack M80 with no updated software, it was just running at pure 80 watts on my SY1 and also my Cleto. But now we are running, obviously, the Dewey Tech Cuboid 150 slash 200. In my eyes, personally, it's a brilliant mod, I can't complain about it. With you get on on the mod you get the vault, the reading of the coil and the amps, which obviously is decent. You can't complain for the money. Can you really? No, well I mean it looks alright. It's nice looking mod as it is. As one of my mates said it looks like a fridge. Just a handheld one. Yeah, practically. Uh I'll give you a little close up of it from here. Not like this. My smock is very light, so it's. I don't know whether it's in my bag or not. With this, it's heavy because of the 18652 Sony's running it, so it's going to add a lot more weight to the actual mod itself, which is brilliant. So you know it's going to be there. What do you think? It's, not, it's a nice mod, but it's just not as good as my Tesla. That's true. Hopefully, next video we shall. Get the Tesla, welcome Marie. Yeah. What what do you think the coil is going to be running at? Uh, well, the Tesla, it's a recommendation of not running anything below 0.1. That's not 0.1, but, uh, but at the moment I think my coils are running at 0.14. 0.14. Well, I did have a dripper in the past and I had a Sigali dripper. Which was running at not at the highest I got it was not six I think 
which was my, my first ever build. Second time round, I got it to the 04, and then third, third time lucky, I got it to the 02, which I did a fusion collapse of coil wrap. And I was using 22 gauge camp files, uh, camp files and just normal box under cotton, um, non bleached cotton. And I was running from one hit wonder again, like I say, link is going to be in the description down below. I was using it from one hit wonder, strawberry wear, fresh wheeze, can't play with any of the juices, nice and thick, 80, 3G and 20PG. But I've, I've spent too much money on Mads Me. But this, all, the whole setup now is around estimate like between 1, 150. On, Roundabout estimated around about air, but like I say, I can't complain with the mod. James should be in my videos, a couple of more videos, so you'll still see him a couple of more times. Let's give it one more whack, and I'm running it on 70 watts. So I'm gonna lean back so you get the cloud. Wait, let me move that. I'm going to do this block. Yeah, screw it, why not? And that, I'm going to end it with a... Oh, shit. I need to refill it. Fuck. Yo, it looks parking my... Yeah. There we go, there's the liquid miner. Like I said, as I was running my Smack M80 Pro, well, Smack M80 Plus, I've still got the mod, it's still, it just, I've, it's not fully charged, but I've still got my Aspire 1. So this is, I just basically, you won't be seeing my. I've got two Cletos, I've got this one which runs on my Joytech Cuboid 150 watt, well, 200 server, say. I've got this one and I've got my other Cleto sitting upstairs. But I need to buy a new coil for the one upstairs and I need to buy a new coil for this. But I'll give you a little drag of this while I'm at it and I'll run it on 50 watt. No, we'll go 55 indeed. We'll go a bit of 55 watt. It's, I'm, I'm using 20PG ATVG Vimto juice, it's really nice, I can't play with the juice but I'll put two mods together so you see the difference in the height and width. As you can see the smock is a lot wider than the keyboard and different size screens as well. As you see this is on the front end, this is on the side. But, you know, I can't complain with this mod and I can't complain. I've had, I've had no issues with the smock and I've had no issues with this. But this was brought a couple of days ago and, I've, and, I've, and I haven't touched this one since. Apart from just then. Apart from just then, yeah. But I need to buy new coils, so hopefully I'll be back up and running and hopefully he shall be in the video again. But it won't be any reviews. Hopefully it shall be. Some sessions, session. yeah. Or well, I'm thinking about doing either vlogs, just a day in the life with me and James. He doesn't live with me, obviously, because he's never been in my videos. He comes down sometimes, every so often, once in a blue moon. Yeah, basically. So, as I said, I shall end that video here. Please like, subscribe, and peace, and it's goodbye from me. Peace.